guys, so tell you having a great start of the week. For today's video, I have been having this um, Maybelline New Year Super Staple Coverage Powder Foundation. I wanted to give it a try. I bought it in the shade 220 Natural Beige. I'm going to start doing everything cream first, and then I'm going to go with this. So far, I have tried Liquid Foundation, and I really liked it. I haven't tried the Stick Foundation yet because... I saw a lot of mixed review and most of them weren't good about the stick foundation so I skipped that one and I rather grab the powder foundation because we can use this for a quick set and go on a daily basis and I'm gonna use that but instead of using it as a quick set and go I'm gonna do a couple of things first and then I'm going to apply this as a foundation, finishing powder, everything. I'm going to through everything else. I have done my entire cream complexion. Since I'm going to use a powder foundation, I had to do everything cream first. I highlighted everything that I wanted to be highlighted, especially my under eye, and I contoured my cheekbones, the sides of my forehead, my jaw, and the sides of my nose. And now I'm going to go for the foundation, as I said, that I bought the shade 220. And it brings the little sponge. I'm going to first try using this one. Let's see if I like it. And it also has a mirror when you lift the powder pen. It has the regular texture of a powder. Now let's see if it does have a little bit of coverage. I'm tapping it into my complexion. And yes, it has a lot of coverage. And in my under eye area, I'm going to lightly dust it with a brush. I'm pressing it. It is a good shade for myself. First of all, I'm going to make sure that I don't have any creases in my under eye. And now with this Real Techniques setting brush, I'm going to lightly apply a little bit of the powder foundation. It brought a little bit of more coverage to my under eye. And that was expected because it is a, a powder foundation. But besides that, it didn't emphasize anything more than I have normally have. It didn't diminish anything, but it didn't emphasize anything. So if you're looking for a powder that it would diminish your texture or your um, fine lines, don't use this one. Use this one only for your entire complexion. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques 300 brush and I'm going to lightly brush it all over my face, buff the product into my complexion, and I'm going to apply a little bit also in my neck. So far, I'm really liking the coverage. As you may have already noticed, I'm not into full coverage foundation. This powder is more like a medium coverage, light to medium coverage, I think, not a full coverage. But for me, that is more than okay, maybe for any other people that would like full coverage, this isn't enough. You can actually apply a foundation and then build up coverage of the foundation using something like this. So far, it looks really nice. As I said, it didn't emphasize anything. I'm gonna finish up my complexion and I'm gonna use my Cover FX Face Perfector Face Palette. I, the first time that I used this was in my video previous, this one. That was my boxy charm unboxing. I'm gonna link that video below, or maybe I'm gonna put it someplace here. You can tap it if you wanna see that video. First, I'm gonna start with the contour shade. So I'm going to lift up a little bit of what I did with my cream ones before I apply the powder foundation. And I'm gonna start with the hollows of my cheek first. And I'm gonna drive it into my temples and into my ear. I'm going to apply this highlighter as a bronzer topper. I'm going to keep on using the same brush. I'm going to use the blusher that this palette brings. And I'm going to give a little bit of a more healthy look to my skin. I really like this kind of a palette because you can do your entire complexion plus you can do an eye look 
with this and you have an all-inclusive thing working in favor of yourself i'm going to use this rlm moda brush i got it as well in my boxy looks for this month using the highlighter from the palette i'm gonna protect my nose a little bit in the flat area of my nose and in my cupid's bow and this also has this finishing powder that i'm gonna use a little bit too give a little bit of more radiance to my skin because one of the cons in the powder foundation is that you are going to be matte and it isn't that I don't like it but I rather have a radiant natural glowy skin than having a flat matte skin it is all about preference and I rather for my liking I rather have a radiant skin than a matte skin that's why I'm gonna go on top of it with this one just to lightly dust it all over my face and you can see the difference between having a matte skin than a radiant glow from within your skin that I really like and especially I'm near 40 and um, and I rather have this kind of a finish that a matte finish that it would um, age me more than I already are. First thought about this is that it give you coverage. It isn't a full coverage. For in my opinion, it is a medium, light to medium coverage because I have this mark or freckle or whatever you may want to call it in my face and it didn't cover it i didn't apply concealer either i don't mind having that or showing that in my face but if you are the kind of people that want to have a dull face finish you will need something else to get that with this powder i'm gonna do my eyebrows i'm gonna do a really um fast eye look and then we're gonna come back to give you my final thoughts of this so sweet time finish up my entire makeup and i'm gonna breeze you really quickly to what i did in my eye before getting to the final thoughts of the product that we are here for today and i use my ColourPop good sport palette again i'm gonna link the video where i do the review of this product in the description box below but for today's look i use this shade flow and I apply it in my crease area and a little bit towards the outer part of my eye then I went with trophies at this kind of a grayish tone I applied it in my outer corner and I drag it a little bit towards my crease to give a little more definition to my eye look and then I went with rookie which this shade surprised me a lot because it has kind of a blue shimmers with it and when you see it in the pan you can appreciate that but when you apply it and press it to your lid this blue shimmers come to life and it is an amazing shade it is the one that i have in my mobile lid right now and since it took this really coppery finish with the shimmery blue specks on it i top it off a little bit with this one here hooked and this is the look that you're seeing in my top part in my bottom i just apply a little bit of flow in my entire bottom lashes and then i went with trophies with a pencil brush in the half end of my bottom lashes which is this area towards the end of my eye and that's it from this to brighten it my inner corner and my brow one i went with this shade brightener which is a really nice cool highlighter that i have enjoyed it's the same one that i have in my complexion and then i apply mascaras and i put falsies for falsies i went with the same one that my foxy looks brought me it is this limited edition Lashes Fox Mint in the style Gaia from Lily Lashes. They are really easy to apply. I like them a lot because the lash band, it is clear. So you don't have to do an eyeliner to diminish or to disappear the lash band. Lastly, for, for lips, I used two things. I went with my Bite Beauty Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Glaze. 
and then on top of it i went with this maybelline color sensation this is in the shade 430 magnificent mauve it has a little bit frost finish on of it that i thought that it would go well with the eye look this is what i use it for doing my look for today and my thoughts about the super stay it is that i like it you cannot use it for setting your under eye it's gonna make it look really really bad it is what i have in my under eye and they haven't looked so awful in a really long time so you can use this for your entire complexion but you cannot set your under eye with it or maybe i will try with some other concealer the concealer that i used today it was the color pop no filter concealer and i use this with almost everything and i say almost let's see if this is the thing that is going to stick to the almost because i use it with everything and i have never had a problem with it this is the first time that i have a little bit of um thing going on i'm going to try with some other concealers to see if it has the same result if it has so i know that i can't use it as a setting powder for my under eye just to the rest of my complexion this powder has kind of the same finish as this one this is from pure this is the 41 press mineral makeup broad spectrum 15 this is light tan and i really like this because of the natural finish this gives me a, a matte finish but the coverage of it is exactly the same the other difference that this two foundation powder has is that i can use this to set my concealer and this one i can lower price that you get from this is because this is only makeup and this has a lot of other attributes that this one doesn't have if you're going to ask me which one i like better i think i'm gonna go with the pure one instead of the maybelline one because of the finish i like more a natural finish than a matte one but that is because of my preference it isn't because this isn't a good product so sweets i hope you like this video i hope that it helped you to make a decision whether you buy this product or not i'm not saying that you should go buy it i'm not either saying that you shouldn't i'm not saying it isn't a good product i'm not saying it is a bad product i'm just saying that for me i have a normal skin that is another thing if you have a dry skin you shouldn't use this because you need more hydration that powder foundation is going to give you wouldn't recommend you to use this one but if you are in a hurry and you are in the go just do a really good prep of your skin and you can use this so it's this is it i hope you like it and if you did press the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i really like and I would love to see you here more often. If you want to get notified every time I will lower video, press the notifications bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.